Okay, I've got something for you. The new parts have been fitted to the car. The simulation numbers are good, so I look forward to your feedback. Check out the details. Welcome to the Hungaro ring for this weekend's Hungarian Grand Prix. But before we start to worry about race day, let's focus on today's practice, which is about to begin. I'm here with Anthony Davidson once again. Nice to see you, Ant. And I wanted to ask you about how you go about improving the car over the course of a practice session. How much would you say is already known from the pre-race simulations? And how much do you have to do, you know, how much do you have to work on with a real car on a real circuit? Well, that's a good question, Crofty, and I suppose the simple answer is that there's no such thing as too much information. As you say, the bigger teams have very complex simulations, vast numbers of clever people crunching the numbers back at base. But what they can't tell you is stuff like how the track condition's going to be or what the temperature's going to be doing over the course of the day and how all of that's going to be interacting with the tyre. There are so many millions of tiny variables involved in getting these cars around a racetrack quickly, but the computer can't tailor the car to a driver's specific balance requirements. At some point, you still need to put a human being in there and have them feel it through the seat of their pants. And that's why we end up with different drivers having different setups, so what I'm trying to say is, Crofty, nothing beats on-track testing. Just letting you know that we've had the team's expectations through for the upcoming qualifying session. We hope you're looking forward to today's qualifying in Hungary as much as we are. We think it's going to be a cracker. This is the kind of track that eats rear tyres for breakfast, or so I'm told by more experienced drivers than myself. Well, tyre management is key here, specifically the rears. It's all too easy to overheat and wear the rear tyres as they are punished out of the low-speed corners. Most teams won't be able to avoid some kind of issue here, especially the teams that are running less downforce.
to P4. is all set then for the race tomorrow. But before we go, let's quickly remind ourselves of our top three, who are Verstappen, Button and Lewis Hamilton. With qualifying complete, all that remains is the main event. We'll be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Emma here. Just wanted to let you know what the team are hoping for in the race. We've seen some astonishing Grand Prix here over the years, haven't we? The drama of 2015 is a recent example. Jensen Button's first win on a wet track in 2006 or in 1997, Damon Hill's heartbreak in the Arrows after a late gearbox failure cost him what would have been the team's only ever victory. What a wonderful place this is to come racing today. Located 12 miles northeast of the Hungarian capital Budapest, the 14 corners of the Hungaro Ring are steeped in history and prestige. Overtaking has always been difficult on this technical 2.7-mile circuit, but the last few years in particular have turned up some exceptional races. Let's hope we're in for another one here today. With me to enjoy it all is Anthony Davidson, a man who made his Grand Prix debut here with Minardi back in 2002. So, Ant, this is a bit of a special one for you, I'd imagine. Yeah, I'd say so. I also stood in to commentate on Jensen's win in 2006, and as I was a test driver for Honda at the time, you can imagine that was quite an emotional Grand Prix. It's also a tough circuit on the drivers, this one, too. Lots of long, slow corners that require a lot of patience from inside the car. Plus, it's a very downforce-heavy circuit. I mean, it's all relative, of course, but if you're lacking a bit in downforce, or if you've got a bit of an imbalance in the setup, this is definitely one of the worst places to have to deal with that. Okay, watch out at the race start. There will be faster cars trying to get past. See if you can hold them off. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday, and he starts from pole position, edging out Jensen Button, who lines up P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Rosberg, Daniel Ricciardo, and Vettel, a Sauber, Raikkonen, Perez, and Daniel Kvyat. Alonso, Massa, Valtteri Bottas, and Sainz, Hülkenberg, Palmer, Roman Grosjean, and Esteban Gutierrez, Ericsson, and Magnussen, Pascal Wehrlein, and Rio Harianto completes the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track.
was a fantastic drive. A great win then for the Red Bull team today. And I have to wonder, Anthony Davidson, just what set them apart from the competition here. The difference was clearly in the strategy. You could tell they'd done a lot of work on the pit wall to really optimise each stint and get the most out of the tyres. And it highlights just how much of a team sport this really is. And um, credit to the driver as well, though. There's no good having a well old machine behind the scenes without a talented hand on the wheel, of course. And I can see now the drivers are making their way out. We need Red Bull fighting at the front. They do an incredible amount for Formula One. And that's another winner's trophy heading back to Milton Keynes. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. Well, the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. Moving on to the driver of the day then, Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Oh, well, I'm a bit spoiled for choice, Crofty. My instinct says Valtteri Bottas, and looking down the field, no one really jumps out at me to make me change my mind. And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. We saw a dip in form from the championship leaders today. Their lead has taken a significant blow. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care.